Hello and welcome back to level 2. Let's go ahead and get looking at this one. So, in here, uh, so the, a few things I, I didn't mention before. Domination will always have at least three bases. It will always have, or uh, it can have up to six, I believe. And you'll, your bots will, they don't necessarily spawn on the same side. We've seen it in both of the matches so far, but they can spawn pretty much anywhere around the map. And oftentimes you'll have a force field close to bases. So taking the force fields might be something worth doing. But what we're going to do first is, if you remember, we were having an issue where our bots were standing on the base, not shooting at the enemy and things like that. So I think what we're going to do first is move this here, much like how we targeted the resource carriers in... Uh, in collection, we're going to set it up so that it's more willing to shoot at long range. Because normally we try not to engage at long range. But I think what I want to try and do is check to see if a, a base is within short range of us. Meaning if we're standing on a base currently, then what we're going to do is... Instead of attacking just at short range, we'll all attack at any range and uh, yeah I'll, I'll use closest for now we can we can mess with that more later uh, one thing I do want to do though is make sure it's set up like this basically the so the difference between having if we do it this way we will continue shooting at the same target as long as we can and we'll only acquire we'll select new targets whenever the opportunity presents itself if we set the nodes up this way, it will always try and target the closest enemy. So if the enemies are retreating back and forth, our bots may end up getting stuck not shooting. And that's exactly what we don't want. So we're going to try this first, and we'll see how that addition goes. And we can see this guy, instead of bringing uh, snipers, this opponent has shotguns and that's fine too uh, we can already see the the long-range shooting coming into play you can see our bots are providing fire support while they're standing on the base normally in other game modes this wouldn't be ideal but in domination because you get extra points for having bots on base they have one base we have one base but look how much faster we're scoring than they are and that goes back to what I was saying you you have to play the objective and then Domination, the objective is the bases. So our bots are, uh, they're all camping on one base while trying to make sure the, the enemy is constantly receiving pressure. And you can see the opponents using these force fields, but they're not really helping because the bots that are grabbing the force fields aren't even being shot at anyway. And they're doing a better job than we are of causing a little bit of chip damage, but I think we're all right. Uh, again, bots respawn, so as long as it took for them to kill those two bots and the point lead that we've built up in the meantime, I think we're in an advantageous position. And because these bots aren't on a base, they're much more willing to surge forward toward the enemy. And sure, they're, they're taking some damage here and there, but it's it's not that big of a problem. Because, again, even though he has two bases, he's so he's scoring at 200%. We only have one base, but it's scoring at plus 200%. So we're effectively controlling three bases while they're controlling two. And so if nothing changes, we win, and that's okay by me. And you can see their his shotguns are moving in to try and engage, but they have a retreat set up so that they uh, but the the retreat is set up so that if multiple people are shooting at the bot, then it'll run away pretty promptly. 
And so that's that's more or less what we're seeing. Uh, we are getting some chip damage on this shotgun, though. That's nice. Um, shotguns... So assaults have high health but low shields. Shotguns have high shields but low health. So getting through the shields on a shotgun takes longer, but once you start getting through the shields, the health generally goes away pretty quickly. And they released pressure on this base here. So their, their team was trying to move toward our base that we've been controlling, and they lost their ability to pressure this mid base. And so we rendered the mid base neutral, and that's only going to give us a bigger point lead. Overall, their AI isn't pushing hard enough, and our AI is, is winning because it doesn't need to push. Uh, although our AI can push and has been contesting this middle one pretty effectively. When you when you think about it, our two bots are contesting the base against six of theirs. Meanwhile, the other four back here are just freely scoring, which works out really well for us, as you can see. But it looks like this will be enough to beat this stage. whole lot of back and forth. And I think one of the things I mentioned uh, in the elimination ones, the uh, so one of our bots did decide to move forward. So that's going to give us three bots pushing on this base and three bots defending back here. Uh, I think it, it'll be okay. Uh, we still are scoring faster than they are and we have a massive point lead with very low amounts of time. Uh, so some more background details that I don't know or explained anywhere. By default, a base scores a point once every 10 seconds. And, of course, as I mentioned, having more bots on the base causes it to score faster. And you can see the ring filling up here. And then, once the ring is full, there's a big pulse, and that's when it gets the point. You can watch the blue rings are filling up much more quickly. And we actually managed to take this base right there at the end. But uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.